Greetings, friends, and welcome to today's Family Altar Audio Devotional. Our scripture reading today comes to us from the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verses 9 through 11. And the quote is by William Marion Branham from the message entitled, The Lamb and the Dove. This message was preached on March the 25th, 1957. We hope that you are blessed today as you listen. For I am the least of the apostles, that am not meet to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain, but I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. Therefore, whether it were I or they, so we preach, and so ye believed. And now, I'm sure that in this, we have found lots of impersonations. And an impersonation, friends, a person that would impersonate something, is the most miserable person that I would know of. Isn't it much better just to be yourself? As Congressman Upshaw used to say, don't try to be nothing that you hang to. <laughs> That's pretty good. Don't try to be nothing that you are not. Just be yourself. And then if you want to be a Christian, just ask Christ. He will take your old nature out, put a new nature in. Then you don't have to impersonate anything. It's just your normal life that you're living. And as long as you've got malice, envy, strife, all these things of the world, then you know Christ isn't in there. The Bible says, if you love the world or the things of the world, the love of God not even in you, see, because the life of God isn't in you. The life is in there, it just produces itself, it just lives its way out. And how happy it is that a man don't try to say, I'm a Christian because I joined church. That's one way. I'm a Christian because I sing in the choir. That's something else. I'm a Christian because I preach the gospel. That doesn't make you a Christian. I'm a Christian because I spoke with tongues. That don't make you a Christian. I'm a Christian because I danced in the Spirit. That don't make you a Christian. I'm a Christian because I shouted. That don't make you a Christian. I'm a Christian because that I quit smoking, I quit drinking. If you did it within yourself, there's something wrong yet. Right. We mustn't do these things in ourselves. If there's something in us that just simply takes the world out of us, then it begins to bear fruit of itself. And now the fruit of the Spirit is not joining church. The fruit of the Spirit is not smoking cigarettes. The fruit of the, I mean, quit smoking cigarettes. The fruit of the Spirit is not to, to speak with tongues. The fruit of the Spirit is not to pray for the sick and they be healed. The fruit of the Spirit is not to prophesy or preach. But the fruit of the Spirit is found in Galatians 5.22. Love, joy, peace, goodness, long-suffering, faith, meekness, gentleness, that's the fruit of the Spirit. Now, no matter how much you preach, you've got a real ill temper, don't do you much good to preach, see? No matter how much you join church and try to impersonate, if you're crabbing and nasty with your neighbor, you'll never win into Christ, but, see? It's the fruit of the Spirit. As my wife used to tell me, actions speak louder than words. That's right. Live me a sermon instead of preaching me one. That's a good thing. Live me a sermon. We trust that you have been blessed by God's Word today. The devotional you just heard was derived from Brother Tim Dodd's Family Altar devotional book. If you are interested in a copy of your own, you can visit store.bibleway.org to order your own copy. If you would like to listen to more daily Family Altar audio devotionals, and other spiritual message-related content that we produce. We invite you to subscribe to the 10,000 Worlds Podcast or visit us on YouTube, Facebook, and on our website at 10kworlds.com. That's the number 10, the letter K, and the word worlds.com. If you feel that this ministry has been a blessing to you and you would like to support us financially to help us deliver more and better content to you in the future, You may easily do so by clicking the Consider Supporting Us link in the description of this episode 
or visiting our website to learn more. It's okay if you can't support us financially, but would you do us a favor? Pray for us and share this episode with others so that they might be blessed as well. Lastly, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell button so that you get notified when we publish more content like this. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you.